It's Ask the Dietitian with Sally Sawaya from Sally's Diet Right. So Sally Sawaya in the studio this morning. Welcome, Sally. Thank you, Gavin. Good morning. Very nice to see you. Great to see you too. So uh, more people talking about butter, by the way, this morning. Mm. Um, don't believe the gossips. Butter is healthy, <laughs> says, healthy, says this one. I wish. I mean, in small amounts, it's okay. But I just told you that the saturated found, the saturated fat found in animal products, just yeah. not very heart healthy. So w- which is healthier? Butter or margarine? Butter is healthier than margarine okay. because margarine has this, the hydrogenated vegetable fats you were talking about in the processed cheese. Okay. So this one is even worse for heart health. Okay. Now, Sally is from Sally's Diet Right. How's everything going there in Sally's Diet Right in, in Rabier? It's doing well, Gavin. Lots of people coming in, especially for weight loss these okay. days. It's funny how at the end of the summer people come in. But why don't they come in like before the summer? They get come, ready for the for Yeah, the they come at the end of the summer and they come in spring before the bikini uh, season. Yeah. So it's both uh, seasons. So did you come with your, your top five things? Yes. It's the five nutritional benefits of thyme. Zatar. Okay. Everybody asks me about Zatar, you know, Gavin? Zatar. Yeah. <laughs> Does it interest you? <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed, but okay, no, let's no. do it. <laughs> okay, next time I'll do something that you recommend. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? The five what? Uh, the five uh, top benefits of Zatar time. Okay. The benefits of, of, of uh, Zatar, number five. It helps you stop coughing. Oh, does it? Yes. So that's interesting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we noticed that uh, some cough medicines actually contain thyme essential oil because it uh, alleviates coughing. So next time you're having a cough, you can just sprinkle some uh, thyme leaves over your tea. It makes an effect. Okay. Will it, will it taste nice? Yeah, of course. It has that nice aroma. <laughs> okay. Number four, um, facts about um, thyme. Uh, they help, uh, it helps boost your immunity. Because actually it's one of the very high content of antioxidants from herbs. So it can help improve your body defenses, especially now that we are having the flu season coming in. Mm. So it really boosts your immunity. Okay, so it boosts your immunity. Other, um, other benefits of thyme, number three? Uh, it has antibacterial and antiseptic qualities. So the active ingredient in uh, thyme, it's actually used in uh, antiseptic mouthwashes, Gavin. Oh. So it really has antibacterial effects. And you know when they just extracted it and put it as an ointment over the skin, yeah. it helps uh, for the treatment of acne. Okay, so it's a wonder thing. Yeah, no. <laughs> so this, this, is, this is actually Zata. Zata, yes. Okay, so no, number, number two, the, um, the benefits of Zata. It helps improve your mood. Again, because the active ingredient in it was shown to like, uh, affect brain activity, so it helps influence your mood positively and boosts your feelings of well-being. Okay, so that's good. And number one, the, the benefits of, uh, of Zata. This one really pertains to our area. It offers health benefits when combined with olive oil because we normally do it with sesame and olive oil, yeah. zaatar rosate, and this is like, uh, it's very good because uh, the, the sesame and olive oil provide all the healthy fats and the zaatar provides many antioxidants, so it's great for your heart health. Good. So it sounds good. <laughs> Let's hear it for zaatar this morning. Yeah. Sally Sawaya. In the studio, she's your personal nutritionist. If you have a question, our WhatsApp number 03-887-000. Sally can answer anything to do with uh, dieting, bulking up, nutrition. What would you like to ask? 03-887-000. Gavin Ford in the morning. So Sally Sawyer in the studio. For Sally's Diet Right, if you have a question, our WhatsApp number 03-887-000. So Sally, let's get some, uh, some questions for you this morning. Um, question number one. Now, um, this one says, um, good morning, I work out every morning and I'm always on a diet, but I never lose any weight. I'm always the same and whenever I eat normally, I get fat. Hmm. Most probably you are within your healthy weight range. So you know when someone is really fat, it's easy to lose weight. But when someone is very close to his ideal body weight, it's very difficult. And you may be from uh, those unlucky people who are always susceptible to weight gain. I guess the genes, I mean your genes, heredity have to play, uh, have to play a role here. So just maintain your healthy lifestyle. And whenever you uh, gain a few kilos, try to lose them directly. You can visit a dietitian or me to help you like with your uh, menu planning. 
Thank you for your messages. Our WhatsApp number 03-887-000. Sally Sawai from Sally's Diatrite this morning. Um, okay, how many beers count as a meal, says this question. Okay, we cannot equate beer with a meal, Gavin, you know. I like, mean, is there any nutritional benefit of drinking a beer? There are some benefits because some studies say that it helps you with uh, your kidney function because it's full of fluids. Yeah. You know, uh, so there are some benefits to a bit of alcohol taking in, taken in moderation. However, just to go back to the question, you know, like uh, the can can contain about 150 calories. So you cannot really equate it to a meal. But you, if you're really taking care of your diet, just uh, by removing one of your snacks, you can substitute it with a beer. Okay. Um, why do you always consider everything low fat, even if uh, someone is not on a di- on, on a diet? Mm. Isn't it better to use full-fat milk or full-fat cheese? I mean, uh, it tastes better, and isn't there any health benefits to them? So, um, uh, low-fat and, yeah, and normal fat. And normal fat. What so should we be? Um, what should we be consuming, even if we're not on a on a on a diet? Okay, Gavin, you know, dairy's benefit, it comes from the high quality protein that it contains and of course calcium and other vitamins and minerals. However, being an animal product, like the question about butter, it has a lot of saturated fat and too much saturated fat in the diet, the bad fat, it it helps like it increases your cholesterol, it affects your heart health badly and it's linked even to type 2 diabetes. So we don't want these chronic diseases. Hmm. And that's why we always opt uh, for low fat options even if you're not on a diet but w- what is skimmed milk i mean um somebody was saying that um that they, they buy full fat milk and they just add water to it and and then they have skimmed milk oh no gavin skimmed milk they remove that saturated fat they remove the fat from the milk no need to go extreme and choose skimmed milk you can go for the low fat because some studies actually show that there are some essential fatty acids in the uh, dairy that helps you actually in losing weight, hmm. conjugated linoleic acid, and they are actually doing it in pill form. So okay. just choose the low fat; you'll be on the safe side, hopefully health-wise as well as. Uh, yeah, I, I like the the, the, the semi-skimmed. I, yeah. I don't like skimmed because mm. it's just so watery. Watery. Yeah. Um, questions for Sally Sawyer zero three eight eight seven zero zero zero. What is the best um, healthy breakfast you can eat outside? So if you're going to uh, one of the breakfast mm. places, what, what should you eat? Omelettes, I guess. Omelettes are the best because the eggs give you loads of protein and they give you a satiety feeling so you don't feel hungry very soon. Uh, you feel full, it helps regulate your appetite throughout the day and choose with it like, you know, whole grain toast uh, and some vegetables. Okay. This one says, um, Sally, hi. How can we have more fiber for better digestion and intestinal movement Yeah. and less bloating? I try to eat uh, one fruit, veggies, drink lots of water daily, yet I keep feeling that um, I need to do more. Is stress an obstacle? Sometimes it is because it affects the way your your uh, gut, uh, the food moves throughout your gut. But uh, as concerning food, uh, high fiber foods are found in veg. They are vegetables, fruits, whole grains, uh, which means you have to choose the whole wheat uh, bread, any whole grain like oats, you know, multigrain breads, and go for quinoa, for example, brown rice or wild rice, uh, whole grain spaghetti. So these plant foods contain loads of fiber. But if you have fiber on its own you will not have a good movement so you need to drink loads of water so at least two liters to let that food move smoothly within your intestines okay so lots of water Mm. Um, next question this one says um, when you coat chicken tenders Mm. with panko does it make you gain weight? What, what, what's panko? Uh, panko, actually, it's used, uh, Gavin, in Japanese cuisine. It's like, you know, the breadcrumbs that you coat the chicken with. Okay. Uh, the problem is not with the panko itself. It's actually with the way you cook the chicken. You normally fry it when you coat it. So with the, the panko absorbs all the, uh, yes. all the oil. So it's better. I mean, it's uh, the frying that's unhealthy and you have to avoid it. So, so panko is, is, is breadcrumbs, bread basically. Crumbs, yes. Yeah, I don't like Lebanese breadcrumbs because it's, it's, mm. they're too sweet. There's, there's too much sugar in Lebanese breadcrumbs. Yeah, true. Have you noticed that? It's yeah, very yeah. sugary. Mm. Um, next question. Let me click on this one just a second. Um, don't believe the gossip's butter is healthy. Okay, I've done that one. <laughs> um, hi. Um, can you give us a few snacking ideas for extreme diet? Oh, 
so we're not a fan of extreme dieting because if you go on a very very low calorie diet you are feeling deprived and you will lose a, you lose a lot of muscle and water and uh, you'll really be deficient in some vitamins and minerals so we always say that go on a balanced diet so you don't regain that lost weight lots of snacks are healthy i'd like to snack on fruits uh, if they are fresh fruits or some dried fruits with unsalted raw nuts it's my favorite snack then you can go for popcorn for example if it's cooked very healthily with a little bit of oil at home Hmm. Popcorn is a great option. You can put easy to grab, you know, vegetables like cherry tomatoes, cucumbers, carrots, dip them in low fat labne or hummus. Hmm. I love that snack too. Edamame is a great snack. Uh, a, li- a handful of seeds, you know, bizarre. Uh, unsalted yeah. seeds. It's really nice. Are those the ones you have to crack open with your teeth and I can never do it? Yes, but you know, Gavin, it takes a lot it takes of time to do. too much time to eat. It's so annoying. Yeah, but it really helps if you want, if you have an urge to snack, it really helps you to, for example, also opening the pistachio takes time. Mm-hmm. So you don't exceed that 20 uh, piece that you're allowed, for example. Okay, you're only allowed 20 p- pistachios a day? 20 is a snack. Uh, same as a small handful of seeds or small ha- small handful of nuts. Mm. <laughs> so one more question um, okay let's choose this one how do I boost my immunity yeah now it's the season <laughs> now of course uh, yeah it's flu season mm. we're, Olga is not well she's got flu um, well I presume it's flu she's got a sore throat uh, true. H- how do we how do we um, guard ourselves against getting flu and colds this, this, this season okay loads of fruits and vegetables that are colourful you know go for the orange the red the green all these contain lots of compounds that helps uh, you boost your immunity vitamin C rich foods you know that's found in citrus fruits in mangoes strawberries bell peppers are a great source and these help strengthen your body defenses and of course you've heard about zinc Gavin zinc all the some tablets contain zinc because it helps boost your mm. immunity but if you want to have it naturally have it from meats and seafood magnesium also makes a difference from nuts seeds green leafy vegetables and vitamin D from sunlight as well as vitamin D fortified milk or uh, supplements in case you are deficient yeah you know I always get sick in the, in the winter and I'm sure it's from lack of sunlight mm. So I should be getting more sun. Because of vitamin D. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much for all your advice today. You're welcome. Sally Sawaya from Sally's Dietrite. And how do we get in touch with you at Sally's Dietrite in Rabier? My Facebook page and my Insta, it's Sally's Dietrite. And the right is spelled R-I-T-E. Well, thank you, Sally. Have a great day. Keep it here for the hits. Enjoy that sunshine today. To be young and in love in New York City. 